We welcome you to match number two of day two in the 20th version of the Kasafa Cup in which Namibia has participated in every single one of them. We are live from Kwazakele, Senegal making their debut. Namibia have never missed a tournament and won in 2015 when they beat Mozambique in the final by two goals to nil. Uh, this is a, a structure that's going to be used from uh, Marikoto and has been used in the past by Marikoto. Now, Yaris Papama goes past the keeper and scores for Namibia. Out of nowhere, turnover ball and Marcel Papama. New post effort from Dominic Mendy, an appeal for a penalty, not coming. Again, they hit the woodwork, the rebound picked up by Senegal, they score. And, and it looks like who? it's Dien. Oh man, he's been probing. Yeah, he's the, the one live player in that tech uh, for Senegal that has really oh, been making meaningful move. I like the intelligence of Elmo. Kampindu, he's moved almost from a central role over onto the left-hand side where he's challenging Falilu Fall and uh, Muhammad Ndiaye. Space in the middle of the park here for another opportunity. It's Dien once again. Oh, it's a tremendous challenge. What's that? Kajiteo again. Barely he just gets uh, to the ball. Corner time again, headed off the line. And I think that was Papama yes. who hit the ball off the line that time. So he scored one and saved one. And again, Kazapua has been caught in no man's land. Very, very close to going in front. Save again from Kazapua. Tucked away by Kamberipa. And Senegal are applying pressure. Which will start in August. Kamberipa. Keeper stays on his line. And oh, they get away with it again. And I think the lucky let off there for oh. Senegal was that two players got in each other's way. Kampindu and Mbondi. I thought he Namibia looking to reinvent themselves here in the second half and play the style of football that we saw during the first 45 minutes, which was very inventive. Willy Stefanis wearing the captain's armband. Now it's a Procious Petrus. Good ball into the middle and another goal. At this time it is Kampindu who gets his head to it, sneaks in behind the defense, beats in the eye and puts Namibia back in front. An enticing match between South Africa and Eswatini finish proceedings that's tomorrow in group a but today in group a in group b quite confident and uh, also a very good feeling that at least after 90 minutes our first game we got the desired result we did not achieve anything yet so we keep our feet firmly on the ground and look forward to the next one because of uh, no contact sport obviously training was also not allowed that is why we decided to bring the team to south africa 10 days ahead of time and uh, of course we started to train here we played a couple of uh, friendlies, and I think those friendlies came in good state. No, 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 Kambidu is our talisman in the absence of uh, Peter Shalilule. Remember, Peter is a very fast boy, very mobile. This one is more of a target man. And, and we qualified for Chan because of Kambindu. But sadly now, or luckily for him, we've signed a professional contract with a team in Mozambique, Costa do Sol, I think. Uh, he's very important to, to our strategy, of course. Uh, I think our next game is only on Sunday. So tomorrow we'll take the, the morning off, afternoon you have a light session and then uh, the next day also one session only. The strategy for the next game is Zimbabwe, a very strong team, six-time champions. But uh, with us, you must come to the match to see what the strategy is. It differs from game to game because it's determined by your opponents. Uh, Kosafa is like any other tournament, but we are glad that we come to discover a tournament like this in the south, uh, southern region of the, the continent. Uh, uh, talking about the game, this game we could have won it easily. It's just that the, the referees decided to do his own things. We all watched the game, so I don't want to talk much about the referee. Why Sevre? Yeah, of course, we did not pitch in the second half like we did in the first half. Yeah, it's a game of football. Sometimes it doesn't come your way the way you plan it. Yeah, anyway, we need to go back. And now that we know that uh, what we need to do, we're going to go and try to rectify the mistake that we make today and come a better team next time.